So Eurotown, it's a, a social place to express yourself. So it's really come from, uh, in fact, a fr frustration we had with uh, friends uh, when we wanted to share content, but we wanted first to play around with the content we wanted to share. For example, if you want to doodle an image or if you want to put two images and ask a question, other things like this, you cannot really do it today with the social network. So uh, we saw that we were not the only one uh, that had uh, that problem. A lot of teens are moving from Facebook to more expressive uh, services such as uh, Instagram or uh, Snapchat or things like this. And uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, social networks are great for connecting people and sharing existing content. But when it comes to express yourself in a creative way, it doesn't really work. So uh, it's where uh, Eurotown was born. Uh, the idea was there are millions of ways to express yourself uh, and we wanted to create that place uh, where you can choose uh, the, uh, from many different ways uh, a way to express yourself. If I take an example, we, if you want to doodle uh, a picture, you choose what we call an expression that are ready-made templates uh, and you click on that expression and then you express yourself. Uh, if you want to take a picture and uh, add a song, so there is an expression for that. So it's what we created. So uh, before with uh, my brother, in fact, uh, we started uh, another company. It was uh, late 90s, beginning 2000. Uh, it was in content TV distribution, mainly from uh, digital TV to broadband internet. And uh, we became, in fact, worldwide leader in that field. And we had customers in the US mainly and uh, Asia, such as Korea and other places. And uh, then we sold that company. And then we spent some good time uh, with friends and uh, doing uh, many stuff, mainly also uh, creative stuff such as music, photo, videos, other things like this. And then when we saw uh, all the, the, the mobile coming with the iPhone, all the HTML5 technology revolution, we uh, saw that opportunity to create something new, uh, especially in the way people express themselves. So it started like this. Yes, WebDoc was some kind of a code name if you want to uh, ask for um, a lab version of your turn if you want. The idea was to release very, very early our service and uh, iterate and uh, play with a different audience. And uh, so that was uh, the, the, the WebDoc period. And then when we thought that we had the right spots, we uh, released the real service that is really your turn. So uh, it was, uh, um, I think uh, last year, we started to discuss uh, with uh, many people. We got traction because we, uh, the first question we asked when we created the service was, uh, who are the people that uh, express themselves on the internet? And most of them are young people and talking most of the time about celebrities and music. So we start to, to approach some music artists uh, and see if uh, there were some interest about uh, giving the mic to the fans and asking fans to express themselves. And uh, it really, really worked. So we had bands such as One Direction, uh, David Bowie and uh, others. So it was really great to see that reaction and that positive uh, needs. We defined in fact our vision really based on the, the reaction and what we wanted to do. And we met a lot of different VCs based from the reaction we got uh, from the fans. We met first a lot of people and we wanted really to find a VC that is able to bring a European company to the US or, and, or worldwide. And what is really important with your turn is uh, the main audience today is US based. So that was really key for us to be first US, then UK, and then uh, I think it's Brazil, something like this. <laughs> so that was really important. So it was key to find a European VC that knows how to bring the uh, company, European company worldwide. So that was the main criteria. We are very happy, they are greatly involved, and uh, yeah, it's a big value for us, it's important. So uh, we are located in the uh, UK and in Switzerland. UK is almost uh, everything such as uh, from uh, community management, uh, a relationship with uh, celebrities, uh, with uh, 
users with uh, uh, music with fashion so this is uh, everything is that kind of stuff is done in uh, London and then we have some development uh, or the most of the development in Switzerland yeah I think what was really important for us we didn't want to reinvent an existing services to be yet another Instagram yet another Pinterest or whatever so what was really key is to be sure that we are complementary to those big names uh, on the market so this is the first thing and by targeting the music and uh, especially the social manager of the music industry they know all the service they use Tumblr they know everything so when they use your service it means that they are your service is really complementary to the others so uh, for us we want really to focus on the way people express themselves and it's uh, something that is not the main focus of uh, all other social media places today so we want to continue to lead that uh, curve